Okay, I'm hoping to do a really quick review of what we're doing for science for first grade. Um, my daughter is a very good reader, um, really, really good. <laughs> I'm sorry, my cat's in the way. Um, so we started doing the um, Exploring Creation, Flying Creatures of the Fifth Day, and this is a really great curriculum. However, I would absolutely not recommend it for first grade unless you have a group of kids that are older and you don't really care if your first grader only gets little bits out of it. Um, it's very thorough, very thought out, Christian based. They have a website where you can go and check out more stuff. And I'm sorry, I have soot on my fingers. We heat with ash, uh, fire. Anyway, I'm trying to hurry. Um, so sometimes a lesson will be five pages and, and five pages like this. I mean, some of these are experiments. I just opened it random, but um, that's a lot for a five-year-old to retain. Um, and even with my daughter being such a good reader, it was just, you know, of course, I'm, in the beginning, I started out doing it the way they suggested. Here's what, you know, some of the lessons plans they, they suggest. We ended up even trying cutting this in half. Like, this would be two days, this would be two days, sometimes more, sometimes less. Um, and, and honestly, we've given up at this point. The junior no notebook is beautiful. The pictures are fantastic. The scriptures in it I love. Um, they have great areas for notes. Um, there was just a lot of really good things. They had options for um, script or cursive and um, printing. Uh, they had like lap booking, little activities that you cut out from the back and you can add in here little pockets to add things and write things on. But there was no retention um, because there weren't any review questions. There were, I mean, there were like maybe five in the book at the end. Um, so I had to make them all up and really stay on my toes. And so also for her, taking notes in these things were really hard for her. So we even tried doing um, where I would take notes while she would read because she was a good reader and then have her go back and read what I had written again to try and really get it to sink in, any of it. <laughs> and it just ended up not being enjoyable. And I love science. I, am a, I mean, to me, I would love reading this, but I'm an adult. I would suggest this maybe third grade and up um, at least. Um, what we have been doing um, are, we're, was very simple. This does not get into it very deep. This is kind of like a drop of water. So this you might want to supplement if you're using your science. Um, this is the teacher's book, but it has what the child's book actually looks like in there. And it was colorful. Um, my daughter really enjoyed doing it. It had um, a little bit about magnets, about gravity, it had food. Um, there were so many things in here um, that my my daughter just loved. Sinking, floating, they always had little experiments in here. Um, and I'm not, um, a, I don't use a Becca for everything, but for this, for her grade level, um, it was wonderful. She really enjoyed it. And you could reuse this. Um, they had you know, like the actual lesson plan. The one thing I didn't like is they, they kind of wanted you to flip back and forth between the section they had in the back. So there's kind of the scope and sequence, you know, time allotment, how long it should take, some ideas, um, guiding for comprehension, and then the lesson plans. You would, you know, it would help you to introduce it. They I wish they'd had the pages that you were going to read, like, in the beginning. And then they had like some different teaching things. And then uh, as you go along, they had different activities, different choices for activities that you could do um, just to take it farther. Um, because at the, at the time we were also doing this one, we did not do many of the experiments in here just because we were overwhelmed. Um, but for the younger grades, I would suggest doing something small like this, overdoing this. If you have older kids that need the science, um, then go ahead. These are really well done, um, just not for this age group. I think we're going to look into, oh, I wish I could science from the beginning. I don't know. It's the same same guy that made the older versions of uh, the Apology of Science books. Um, we might start that younger. Um, but anyway, 
beautiful curriculum, just not for younger kids.